many people have asked me what motivated me to go in and do all this research on the Central Park Five. Well, I was always a curious person when it came to race relations, but this particular case was kind of close to me because I was close to their age. In 1989, I wasn't a violent individual, but I, I had friends who were engaged in criminal behaviors at the time when I was just getting my feet wet in terms of criminal behaviors myself. You know, I, I kind of resonated with the story because I heard these kids talking and all my friends were from New York City or New Jersey. And when hearing like some of the tapes, I kind of got a sense of who those kids were. They reminded me of my friends. So recently, as they got their settlement and when they see us came out, I decided to dive back into it. So I watched this piece that the New York Times had a panel and they were talking about the phrase wilding and Kevin Richardson tells this lie on television. This was my motivation. What is wilding? Wilding is not a term. Uh, they actually came up with that term when we was in um, the precinct. I don't know who came up with it, but uh, that's not a term that we as kids use. They took that term and just ran with it. Uh, it doesn't make sense, actually. It's ridiculous that they even took that and made it so famous that people actually thought it was a word. Right. Which is not, folks. <laughs> Compare to that to what some of the kids that were apprehended that night said. Did he say what you were going to do on Wednesday night? He said, at 8 o'clock, we were going to go wild. Wilding? Yes. What does that mean? Whatever happens, like going around, hitting people, stuff like that. I can't hear you very well. There's going around, punching, hitting on people, things like that. I was up from the community center, but then I just remember everybody's going, going wild tonight. Everybody. When did you first hear that everyone was going wild in that and night? The same day. When I go around the school, I think they'd be around there, and plus one day, it was going, it went to go wild before they went to Central Park. It was on the carnival. Okay. Raymond yeah. talked to you about going wild in? Huh? On the carnival? Really? Yeah, but I didn't go. The word really came from the police who said in the press conference, this is what these kids were saying. But there's a sort of disconnect there. There's some, some kind of mistranslation or something happening because I don't think anyone was actually saying it. It may have been sort of a misinterpretation of wylin, like wylin out, which was a much, which had no uh, violent connotations. It's something you might say about just hanging out, sort of messing around. And so it's possible that someone heard that, but it's really, it's sort of a, a mystery. Now, when you hear Sarah Burns saying these things, you realize she's either full of shit or she's just trying to dampen harsh feelings that people may feel about Central Park Five. I strongly believe that it was the Burns's Sarah and her father who put these boys up to feeling like they could tell this story and get away with it. Now she tries to say, oh, maybe they got it confused with Wylan. Like, Sarah, you, you really that dumb that you don't know that it's a pronunciation of wilding, it's the exact same word. It's just pronounced differently. Are you really trying to say that? Like, that's what she's trying to say here is that, that they're two separate words. And then, then she says that there's no um, violent connotation. No violent connotation. These kids can put whatever connotation they want on a word. This is what people do. When you make up a slang term, it's like I, I know that my friends and I, we had terms that we would just come up with within our group. Something silly would happen and we use a word that was already used, but because it, it happened within within the group, now we, we use that word to refer to some activity that we what, that we do. That's just how it goes. This stuff happens all the time. Like some word just starts to get used. A couple of years ago, the pause game, like who came up with pause? When somebody says something that sounds like it has some kind of homosexual connotation, but you're not a homosexual, so you say pause. 
because you don't want people to think you're homosexual. It's the dumbest game in the world. But that use of the word pause, it's like it takes on a whole different definition based on something some guys probably in the street came up with when they were just together hanging around and it, it is spread. Wildin is the same thing. And, and then the other thing is that Wildin had been out well before this case. This is not the first time Wildin was her, was used. And, and, and she knows that. They know that. The term Wildin was even used in rap music. In MC Shan's 1988 song titled Born to be Wild, he uses the term. This was one year prior to the Central Park Jogger case. All day long I watch and observe. No, I gotta be joking. That's word to her. I can take a lick it and keep on smiling. Who needs a license to ill? I was born to be wildin'. This idea that wildin is just not something that they said or they would use is just false on his face. And this this is what brought me to believe that these people were liars. And I just didn't trust him after this. Like this this was the interview where I decided that these guys are not telling the truth because they said a couple of other things like all of them said that they didn't do anything that night. They didn't beat up anybody. They didn't rob anybody. They didn't do anything. That's not what they were saying in 1989. That's not what people were saying about them. That's not what they were saying about each other in 1989. And now all of a sudden they're all coming together for this moment where they're trying to get right now. This is, this is before they got the $42 million settlement. And if you notice, Sarah Burns said earlier that she worked for the attorneys who did the civil suit. And you can best believe that the reason that she's decided to take on this story and, and go all in is because she's going to get some chips when they get their settlement. Though the Burns has probably got a, a, a big stack of that money. But, you know, it's just unfortunate because what you have here is white liberals, white leftists using their, <laughs> and I never thought I'd use this word, but they're using their white privilege um, to virtue signal in a way to kind of say, look, I'm, I'm, I'm for black people. I'm helping these black people get out of this situation. But you're also helping them lie. And you know good and damn well you're helping them lie. And, and and there's no way you can look at this and think that Sarah Burns doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. She obviously does. And so does uh, Ken Burns. Ken Burns, it's just ridiculous. Listen to what Ken Burns says. Now, you know, anywhere two people of color, men, together, commit a crime that's wilding. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't apply to the white mob in in Howard Beach or Bensonhurst. Uh, they weren't called wilders uh, that resulted in the death of a human being of color. Um, so it, it becomes the same, you know, archetypal thing. As you, as you suggest, this just, it was so out, outrageous. And as we now know, it was outrageous, right. but, and incredible in the real sense of that word. But we went with it because it, it appealed to all the archetypal terrors of, of the vulnerable, white woman and the black mob and this is birth of a nation and gone with the wind you know in in a progressive northern city at the end of the 20th century he's full of it let's let's address the fact that he said that that now whenever black people do crime it's known as wilding in what fucking community do you hear this shit i haven't heard this anywhere i've lived in new york city where this shit happened i've i lived a lot of different places and known a lot of damn criminals I've never heard anybody anywhere get accused of wilding. No police officer said anybody was wilding. Oh, you boys are just out here wilding out, huh? No, you don't hear that shit. He's full of shit. Now, then he says it doesn't apply to white people in, in Bensonhurst or wherever he said. In, in this part of Brooklyn. Yeah, okay, but that's because the white people in Bensonhurst don't use the term. The reason... It was applied to the Central Park Five is because they actually used the word in their interrogation. It's on tape like you can sit there and watch it. So what the fuck are these people talking about? These people are full of it. It's lies like these stated by the Central Park Five and their white leftist saviors that drives me to continue what I do 
to out them. And that's it.